What's up everyone? It's Christina from the Glazer Tutoring Company and today we are going to solve the system of equations by the substitution method. Ooh, fractions, but we got this, right? Now we want to solve the system of equation. A system of equations basically is when they give you two or more equations and they just maybe will have a relationship, maybe they won't, right? But this, because we have two equations, this is the system. Now we want to solve for this system. Now I noticed that we just got x's and we have y's. It's not like x squared or y squared. So these are linear lines, right? And if we want to solve for this system, all we're doing is we're looking for a point in which they intersect. So we're looking for that x and y coordinate that bring these two equations together. Right here would be the one line and if they interact with each other and they intersect, x marks the spot. Bada bing, bada boom, here it is. And that's the solution. The solution is the one specific point that they have in common. But now how to, oh, Christina, don't be overzealous, right? X, x and y. But now how do we solve this? Well, in this case, we got to do the substitution method, which means that the first thing you got to do is change one of these to either x equals or y equals. Now, it doesn't matter which one. Technically, you'll find the same answer. If all your algebra is right, your PEMDAS is good, and you run through the steps, you'll get the same answer at the end of the day. Um, there are some, you know, tips and tricks. Like, the first thing that I can suggest is if you just had maybe like an x plus 7y or something, and you just had no number in front of the x, well, technically there's a 1. But if you don't see a number in front of the x, that is the chosen one. It's the easiest to solve for x equals or y equals. But in this you know, scenario, I got a half of an x, I got a sixth, I got a fourth, and a third. So they all got numbers in front. But now, just pick the one that you think that you can, you know, convert over the easiest, right? Between a fourth, a third, a sixth, and an eighth, um, I guess, I guess the half, right? Because if I have to undo a half, I times by two. And times by two, I, I like to do that. So what I'm going to do, and obviously you could change, you know, for any one. You'll still get the same solution at the end of the day. So let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first equation, and I'm going to solve for x equals. So we have equation... 1. So equation 1 is 1 half x plus, whoop, plus the third y equals 16. So the first thing I want to do is I want to shimmy over the y's, right? So plus 1 third y, I'm going to minus the 1 third y on both sides to get that guy going. This cancels out. Now we have the one half x equals 16 minus one third y. Now I just want x by itself, right? So it's being multiplied by a half. Let's undo that, right? So in order to do that, you times it by the reciprocal, which is two over one, which is times by two. But I got to do the same thing for the whole other one. So just be careful, right? Because this 2 has got to be times by the 16, and it's got to be times by the 1 third. But on this side, 2 times a half, that gets canceled out. And now we're left with x equals 16 times 2 is 32, and then minus 2 times a third. You could do the decimal if you want. I'm going to leave it in fraction form, which would just be 2 over 3. Why? And now I got my two pieces. My x equals 32 minus 2 thirds y. Okay, now where do we go after this? Well, this step is really super important because for whatever equation that you used to solve for x, you must use the other equation to do your substituting. So we'll say that this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. I used equation 1 to get my x equals, so I have to use equation 2 to substitute. So equation 2 now is the 1 6th x 
plus the one-fourth y, and that equals 9. Now, we just solved for what x was. Find the x over here. Here it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in whatever you just found out. This really equals 32 minus 2 thirds y. So the x is going bye-bye, and this guy is coming in. But just be careful because the 1 sixth is being times by the whole x value. So when I put that 1 sixth in, I have to times it by the whole value, 32, 32 minus 2 thirds, and maybe I gotta pull this out a little bit, 2 thirds y. And now just keep, keep going, right? This is plus a fourth y equals 9. Okay, so here we go. We now have to do a little bit more distributing. A little bit more of the times tables. Let's see what's going on. Factoring, right? 32 over 6. Does 6 and 32 have something in common? Um, not directly, but I could divide this by 2. That would be a 3. And I could divide this by 2. That would be a 16. And 16 and 3 can't really go any more than that. So we're going to say 16 over 3. Minus, now 1 sixth with 2 thirds, right? The 2 and the 6, they get canceled out, which is 1 and a 3. And then 3 times 3 is 9, so this would be minus 1 ninth y plus a fourth y, and this now all equals 9. Now, let's combine like terms. We got those two y's, right? We got a ninth y, we got a fourth y. Now, I can, um, you know, sit here, do the common denominator. Seems like they both have, I don't know, what do they got in common? 36, I guess, right? But maybe, just for simplicity purposes, I'll show you how to do fractions on calci. We could say negative one ninth plus a fourth. It will, in, in my case, it will spit out a decimal value. But if you want to turn this into a fraction, what you do is you go to math and then press number one, which is frac. It goes into fraction mode. So there you go, five over 36. And it's a positive, so plus 5 over 36, and this equals, oh, and this is the y value, and this equals 9. Okay? We're getting close because now we just want to get rid of the 16 divided by 3 on both sides. So this goes bye-bye, and I'm going to just come up here for it. So we'll do 5 over 36y equals 9 minus 16 over 3. Um, this, this 9 would be the same thing as 27 over 3. So what's 27 minus 16? 11, right? So we got 11 over 3, and that's the number there. So now... Coming over here, we just want to get y equals, it's being multiplied by 5 over 36, so we could just multiply this by 36 over 5. You could always cross multiply if you want, but, you know, better to leave it in fractions, especially for these, these guys. So times it by 36 over 5, this cancels out, and you're just left with y equals, and now I have... A 3 and 36, so this would be, what, 1 and 12, and 11 times 2, 11 times 12 is 132, so this is 132 over 5. And maybe I'll put that in red, because I like to color everything. 132 over 5. Okay, so now we got our first coordinate. We have an actual y value, so we're good to go with this. So now we have half of the piece of the puzzle. We know that the y value is going to be 132 over 5. 
Now we just got to find out that x value. But in this case, it really doesn't matter which equation you use. Just pick the one that's easiest for you, right? I guess, I guess maybe we'll do equation, I guess we'll do equation one, right? So I'm going to plug in equation one and let's see what I get. So maybe I'll just, let's see if I can squeeze this in. Equation one, we have one half x plus one third times by that value and that's going to equal 16. So we, now we know that the x, uh, the y value is 132 over 6. So let's see if we do this, does this simplify? 1 over 2x, let's see, 3 into 132, um, let's see, well we got a 4, this is a 44, plus 44 over 6. And I can, you know, get rid of that. 44 over 6, what is that? 44 over 6, that is 22 over 3. Now, just to check yourself, you can always go over here, right? 1 divided by 3 times 132 divided by 6. Turn that into a fraction. Let's see. 22 over 3. Yay! Okay. Let's keep going, right? Equals 16. So now, minus 22 over 3, minus 22 over 3, that gets canceled out. So now you have 1 half x equals 16 minus 22 over 3. What's that? 40, let's see, 16 minus 22, I guess we'll just do this, right? 60 minus 22 divided by 3. Turn that into a fraction. 26 over 3. And now the last thing is, it's being multiplied by a half, so just times this by 2. This gets canceled out. And maybe, can I bring this up? Let's see. Yay! You can bring this up a little bit. Okay, so now we get x equals. Sorry that it's so smushed down here, but I will put it up back over here, right? The x equals. So x equals, um, let's see, 26 times 2 is 52. So 52 over 3. I think so, right? 26 and 26, that's 4 and 2 and... That's a 5, so 52. So 52 over 3. So here is the solution. We have 52 over 3. And we have 1, 132 over 5. And this is the answer. Whee! All right. What'd you think? Fun, right? Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel um, if you want to help us out. I really um, hope that this channel is helping you guys out in your chem and your math and your physics uh, homework or studying for a test, studying for a quiz. We got you guys. Um, thank you so much for making the channel what it is thus far. And let's just keep going. Let's just keep learning. Always work hard, right? And good things will come. So thank you so much. And I look forward to helping you in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.